Hi, welcome to Concepts Hub. Export Credit Guarantee Corporation of India has published a notification for the vacancies of probationary officer. The reason why I am showing the website is because of its authenticity. Because many fake uh, vacancy notification are circulating in the social media to show you the authenticity of the notification. I am showing you the website. So this is a recruitment for the it may take time for loading so i'll show you which i have already opened it so recruitment of provision officer 2021 click here for the advertisement so from here i downloaded the notification i'll show you the downloaded notification and i'll explain the eligible criteria pay scale everything so it is a government of india enterprise so the online examination for this in, is in the month of march 2021 so the online examination for selection of personnel for the post of provisional officer in export credit guarantee corporation of india the pay scale is 32795 to 62350 and the pay scale is due for revision since august 2017 the officer also eligible for many other allowances i will tell you the details of these allowances let me show dear allowances house rent allowances house lease reimbursement transport allowances medical allowances newspaper allowances meal coupons reimbursement of mobile bills mobile handset briefcase allowances furniture allowances <coughs> house help allowances and there are many other allowances of executive officer that is provisionary officer um, and the current CTC in Mumbai is 13 lakhs and this is due for revision. So there is a hike in the pay. Those who wish to apply, just make sure you have all the eligible criteria required for the application. Process consists of online examination followed by interview. And you have 20 centers. For the examination that is Mumbai, Ahmedabad, Pune, Indore, Nagpur, Kolkata, Varanasi, Bhuneshwar, Raipur, Gauhati, Chennai, Coimbatore, Bangalore, Kochi, Hyderabad, Vizak, Delhi, Chandigarh, Kanpur, Jaipur. Or shortlisted in the online examination will be called to Mumbai for an interview. We will see the important dates so online registration starts from the 1st of january 2021 and the last date is 31st january 2021 these are tentative dates but most probably these are the dates and the payment is also same the download for pre-examination training for SESTs is first week of february pre-examination training for SCST is in the second and third week of february you can download the call letter for the examination in the first week of March and you have the online examination on 14th March 2021. The declaration of result will be between 20 to 31st of March. Interview will be in the month of April and the final result will be in the month of April or May. We will see more details about age, educational qualification and any other required requirement, the number of vacancies. So these are backlog vacancies. So OBC, OBC one, and new vacancies are SC nine, ST four, OBC fifteen, EWS fifteen, unreserved twenty five. So total fifty eight. So the total backlog and the new vacancies are fifty nine. And for persons with benchmark disabilities, usually impaired 1, hearing impaired 2, 4 to category 1. So the total number of vacancies are PWD. PWDD is 4. There is a age relaxation. So the minimum age is 21 years. 
the minimum age is 21 years and the maximum age is 30 years so you can see your date of birth whether it lies in between these dates so 2nd of january 1991 and 1st of january 2000 For other categories, for SCST it is 5 years of relaxation and OBC non familiar 3 years, person with benchmark disabilities 10 years and other ex-servicemen, emergency commissioned officers 5 years. Person affected by 1984 for 5 years of relaxation is there for these people so minimum education qualification is a degree that is graduation in any discipline from university is recognized by the government of india or its equivalent for this you need to have your mark sheet or degree certification that you have completed the particular specified course you need to have your degree before 31st January 2021. Yeah, recruitment process is this is a online examination. You have multiple choice question and descriptive one. So total 200 questions and 200 marks. Reasoning ability, the total number of questions is 50 and the maximum marks is 50. The duration for reasoning is 40 sectional timings. So English language 40, maximum marks 40. And duration is 30 minutes. Computer language 20, maximum marks 20, and the duration is 10 minutes. General awareness 40, maximum marks 40, and duration is 20 minutes. Quantity to aptitude 50, maximum marks 50, and the duration is 40. The total question number of questions is 200, and maximum marks is 200, duration is 140. These are multiple choice question and you will have descriptive paper that is in the lang English language only. So for essay writing you will be given two out of that you need to write one. So marks is 20. Essay writing also out of two you need to write one. The marks is 20. So 40 minutes is allotted for both essay writing and precise writing. Precise writing. And one more important point to notice for multiple choice question you have negative mark for wrong answer one fourth or zero point two five marks interview okay so the total marks total marks allotted for interview is 60 and the minimum qualifying marks in the interview should not be less than 40 percent 40% for unreserved category and 35% for SC, ST, OBC, PW, BD candidates. The weightage of online examination and interview is 80 is to 20. And based on your online examination and interview, you will be shortlisted for the finals. And any documents? Yeah, these are the documents you need to have at the time of interview. So, what are the documents? One is print out of your call letter. Once you clear interview, you will be given call letter. Valid print out of online application. Proof of date of birth. Okay, that is 10th certificate. And proof of identity. There are few listed identity proof mark sheet and certificate for graduation CAS certificate for those applicable and candidates belong to OBC category but come under creamy layer if their cast does not find place in the central list they are entitled to OBC not entitled to OBC reservation so they should get category as general in the online application so income certificate and in case of uh, disability they need to have a disability certificate and they need to have 
copy of service or discharge book along with the pension payment. Candidates serving in government, they need to bring no objection certificate. Person with age election, they need to bring related documents, experience. If applicable, bring those experience certificate and any other supporting documents which you feel is required for the post. Thank you. If you have any doubts, comment in the below comment section. And if you like this, share with your friends.